Hello, and welcome to this conference presented by Sharon Epstein, co-founder and CMO of MAPO on the following subject. MAPO, property stories, car and mobile app. Sharon, the floor is yours. Hi, everybody. Well, I'm Sharon, and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, MAPO today. I hope you can see and understand um, uh, the new way we can use content to enrich our life. What is MAPO? Well, MAPO is actually offering users a new way to see the world and explore destinations, whether they are known or unknown to them. If you're first time in New York, for example, or for the third time and you're looking for some new interesting content, MAPO can give it to you. All the content that we are uploading is culture related and culture in the wide essence of the world we are taking texts from books and TV series and movies and classical books for children and fantasy books and everything that has two things, a place and a scene, something is happening. Um, we, we are now having almost a 35,000 POIs, point of interest of pop culture stories that are taken from a lot of sources that I will show you in a bit. Where do we get the content from and how does it go to the application? First thing is the technology. We have a state-of-the-art algo technology that we have developed for years and are still working on it. We will elaborate in the next few minutes. The second source is editorial. We have a team of people who are writing us uh, journeys, themed journeys. They are tour guides, they are a professor to literatures, they are private companies, municipalities from cities. Uh, there are schools We're doing it in Israel, for example. We had um, a school that just met two cities in Israel. In Hebrew, it's not in English, unfortunately, but um, municipalities and corporate partners that are taking that uh, mission to map their culture. It can be their city, their country, or anything that is interesting for them. And the last source that uh, we are uh, taking the content and uploading the content is actually crowdsourcing. Uh, people who love books, who love movies, who love texts, and love uh, to travel, and love to understand and explore the world in a different way. And we actually have a specific website, a web app, that you can upload stories and journeys for yourself. Of course, we're checking the data, everything is going through a process and we check, but anyone can upload, even if it's one quote or one place or one book. If you know your house is showing anywhere in the, in the text, you can upload and give it a quote and show you what is the story. But the content is very, 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 wide and varied. It goes from Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem to the Da Vinci Code in Paris. So everybody can find something they love in it. I want to show you, um, this is how it looks like in the application. I will show you a live demonstration in a minute, but just uh, wanted to show you that when we have a journey, you can see the journey on the map. You can have, each story has a unique quote uh, the name of the source, uh, the name of the author, uh, a voice that reads you the quote. You can don't have uh, to read it, of course. Uh, the application is also in the car. I will show you in a minute, but of course, everything is uh, just by voice. And we have some fun stuff in the story. We are enriching stories with fun facts or data or, did you know, things that people don't know. And the images of the place, it can be imaged. From, from now updated or, or images from years before. We can upload links to videos in YouTube or Vimeo. So the story is enriched. There is the hardcore of the text, the quote, but then we can add a lot of content to make it uh, to dig deeper, to understand the concept of the, the place or the story. And another story, for example, is the Da Vinci Code that I mentioned. If you look around you, you go in Paris and you see all kinds of uh, quotes and stories. 
you open it, you can see the name of the book and the name of the author. Most of the time we have also the publisher and you can read the quotes and you can navigate to the place and fun fact. And of course, all the media that enriching the story and make it much more better. I want to show you now a live demonstration that I recorded just one hour ago to make you understand a little bit the mobile app. And then I will show you the car application, which is of course a little bit different. Let's see it together. Yes, hi everyone, Sharon from Apple. I just want to show you a quick glimpse to the application. When you open the app, you will get results in the place that you are in in that moment. I'm in Tel Aviv, so what I'm seeing is stories and journeys from Tel Aviv. I can use those filters to narrow down the results and I can use the search bar to look specifically for what I want wherever I want in, in in the world. Now the application right now is only in English and we have a lot of uh, stories and journeys in America, in the USA and many, many cities in, uh, in uh, Europe. You can use this direction button to prepare yourself a personal uh, route with the things that uh, are interesting for you. Let's say I'm going from New York I'm about to go to New York and I'm heading to um, Chicago, let's say. Sorry. And first of all, here it is. We flew. That was quick. Now I can enter some filters to decide what do I want to see. Let's say sport is not interesting for me. And let's say that, um, um, I don't know, I'm... Poetry is not interesting. And my travel type is family. I'm with my family. Apply filters. It will take a minute to change. Yes, here it is. Amazing. Now you can do two things with this uh, journey that we just made. You can start navigate to the journey, to the first story. Here it is, this uh, young, beautiful author, Paul Auster. Let's hear a bit. You are now listening to the New York Trilogy by Paul Auster. In eight more days, it will be exactly a year. You remember? remember. So we have these uh, stories and we can go to the next story. It's another book. These are various uh, stories from various uh, books. And then... You can also save it to your favorites. You need to give it a name. Let's say I New York to Chicago. And now I'm going to save it to the journey. Of course, you can share the journey. You can send it to other people. Where is it? In my favorites. Here it is. New York to Chicago. These are all my favorite journeys and stories that I uh, uh, saved for myself. I want to show you one more thing. Let's see. You can see amazing, amazing journeys our editorial team has done. Let's see for um, New York. I'm going to New York. New York, New York, I'm in New York. I want to see what's in New York. And I'm in a romantic trip this time. Everything is interesting for me. I'm leaving the filters at, as they are. And what you get here is pre-edited pre journeys that we made. Let's see, we have editor speak and we have most popular. You can find some amazing journeys in the application, really. Um, anything from, you see, friends to literary to Ground Zero and New York Mafia. The story of the Mafia, all the hits. You can see each uh, journey has a few sentences to explain what is it about, uh, media. Let's see the journey itself. Here it is. And as you can see, you can also save it to favorites. 
it is in my favorite already. Let's see another story from the mafia. Let's see one. You can always navigate to every story and every journey. Yeah. You are now listening to Beat Cop to Top Cop by John F. Timoney. One day, while towing one of our 20 little... So we have the quote, we have the address and navigation option, we have um, some fun facts or interesting data, we have images, you can see the place today, and um, what is it? Let's see in YouTube for a minute. Let's go back. And if I press on the next story, I will get to the next story. It's another book, it's another person, it's another author, new details. Very, very fun and interesting to those of us who like the mafia. I can share the route, I can save it, and of course I can navigate to it. That's it. I think this is the most important thing that I wanted to show you. All the rest is very, very easy to see. It's very intuitive and we will definitely love to get your uh, uh, thoughts and if you have remarks, anything that you got. Thank you very much all. Now I want to show you the car application. I must say that we did, uh, we developed the car application with Ford. Amazing partners for us and just showing start of the revolution that we're going to have in the car in the next few years. So we are giving a lot of effort in the automotive and smart city markets. We think we can be a very important player in this market to get users to have more fun and more. It can be intellectual, it can be entertainment, it doesn't matter what, but wide content. The king is the content, it's just starting. I want to show you what Ford did this uh, demonstration in the car. Of course, it looks different to the mobile because we are under a lot of regulation in the car. But still, I think we, we succeeded to get the most out of the content, the amazing content that we have. I'm going to let you see. It's, it's starting quiet, but it's not. They're talking. And just, I will add that he's now actually uploading a story. Uh, he said that we are allowing uh, our users to upload stories. So what he's doing with this demonstration is uploading a story, a quote um, from the Ford history, and then see what happens. You are now listening to Detroit's Michigan Central Station by Kelly B. Kavanaugh. In the words of our founder, Henry Ford, to do for the world more than the world does for you. That is success. Throughout our 117-year history and today, we strive to do more through our services and by supporting the communities where we operate globally. We are proud of our contributions. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. You are now listening to Arsenal of Democracy, FDR, Detroit, and an epic quest to arm an America at war by A.J. Bain. In 1941, Henry Ford and his only child, Edsel, launched the most ambitious wartime industrial adventure ever up to that point in history. They attempted to turn their motor car business into an aviation powerhouse to build four-engine bombers, the weapon the Allied leaders thirsted for above all others. Thank you. Well, I don't have a lot of time. I can see that I'm a little bit late with times, but I will go over the products that we have, the spectrum of options that uh, whoever wants to partner with us we can have, uh, uh, as I said, the data, the data itself as an API. We are eligible for SDK. We can be your white label, if you need an application or something that it for you and of course the technology what i want to say about the technology that not only that we are a, we have the ability to take text and extract quotes in places and identify the place um, we are now working on developing saliency it 
means we want to choose or decide what is interesting, what makes text interesting. We don't prefer not to have a text that has no real meaning in the application. We want the heart of the story and the interesting parts. We have an amazing team that working on keeping developing this uh, algorithm. So, and of course, we have our application, mobile application, uh, that under the macro brand. What's in it for the user? I think this is very easy to, to see and understand the entertainment, first of all, enriching uh, not only the drive for car and the drive, it's enriching the life of people when you go to a destination. Even if you go from your home to your work, work every day, you can find the uh, new stuff, you can upload yourself. Uh, it gives people the ability to unite around this subject and connecting. This is what we know, we want in this era, connecting. This is a subject that do it very good. What's in it for you from your brand, whoever is watching me now? First of all, the user experience. It's really inspiring and, and entertaining. And the clients can be very uh, attached to your brand if you use it for your content. Uh, again, the community, it's a, a way to grow community across users or customers or visitors, whatever the kind of uh, company that you are. And monetization, this is uh, the ABC uh, of today's era. This is, again, I want to expand the technology. We talked about it and the potential. We can, whatever we do with the text of, of um, culture, we can do with a lot of other kind of text if they have a place and structured and unstructured directions, navigation for maps, we can do layers on maps. And of course, integrate with all users input 